Well, hi there, Bob. Welcome. You're watching Blueprint Explosive Exclusive with me, Meghna Deka. Well, it has been a massive loss of face for the Stalin Sarkar. Clearing the route for the RSS march, the Supreme Court has allowed the RSS to carry out the route march in Tamil Nadu. Remember, the state government had rushed to the Supreme Court in February after the High Court restrictions which were lifted by the High Court, rather, in the march, emphasizing the importance of protests in a healthy democracy. In the state government in its special leave petition in the top court had listed its reasons to restrict the RSS processions. It in fact maintained that due to the ban on PFI, there is a threat from various sources to the leaders of the respondents' organization. In fact, it says, and I'm going to quote the Supreme Court here, that the chart which was provided by the state government shows that the members of the respondent organization, which is of course that of RSS, were indeed the victims of many of those cases and they were not the perpetrators. In fact, the Supreme Court has maintained that the information which was provided by the state government itself shows that the members of the respondent organization were the victims and not the perpetrators, and that's the big takeaway. What we have seen during Ram Naomi, most of these uh, people, uh, Hindutva people who were holding Hindutva flags, went near the masks and started shouting. That is the kind of uh, approach the RSS has. They are not bothered about their gods. By using these means, they want to attack uh, other uh, religious gods. All these things have made us that uh, RSS is a troubleshooter. And they want to attack the other religious uh, place, uh, places of worship than to celebrate their own function. I don't know what the government is going to do on the uh, order of the Supreme Court. Let us wait and see what action the government is going to take. But it is the DMK will definitely ensure peace and protection to the people of Tamil Nadu. It's correct that the Supreme Court has upheld the High Court order, uh, saying that the procession without conditions, no condition, should be granted. And the Supreme Court has dismissed the SLPs. Uh, we have to wait for the detailed order and see what it says exactly. It's a legal process. The Tamil Nadu government chose to exercise its legal rights. The very fact that two constitutional courts, being the High Court of uh, Madras and after the Honorable Supreme Court, have rejected the Tamil Nadu government's stance, that should be enough message to them that their stance was not borne by a correct position in law. And they now need to understand that the legal process is not going to go by political compulsions, which they were in any case unnecessarily putting onto this march. If there is a law and order situation for one group, the same applies to the other groups also, isn't it? How can it be a law and order situation only for RSS March and impose all this? So definitely, and uh, it just goes to prove that if we want to fight for what is right, we are prepared to go all the way. It is time for the Tamil Nadu government to introspect within themselves and take the right decision at the right time. It is, I think I would take it as a sort of, you know, a reprimand for the Tamil Nadu government because it is totally one-sided on, on every issue. They are totally partial, one-sided, and I think this particular judgment goes to prove. And definitely, we cannot take things lying down anymore. Well, let's go across to our panelists. Joining us today on the show, Desh Ratan Nigam. He's a lawyer joining us here on the show. Dr. P. Pulla Rao is also joining us, a political analyst. I'm going to come to you first. Um, Mr. Desh Ratham Nigam, because it's important for us to understand, because the Supreme Court very categorically has said that in the cases which have been listed by the state itself, RSS was the victim of the violence and not the perpetrators. You can't ban the RSS's rally based on these cases. Isn't that very damning coming in from the court? Certainly, Meghna, in fact, RSS, which is always in the forefront of national causes and also is in the forefront of making India a virtue guru, has always been there in the forefront where whether there are natural calamities or otherwise. And therefore, uh, in order to ban the uh, you know march of the RSS, which is not a protest, it's a, it was a celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav and also Gandhi Jayanti at that point of time. To ban such kind of uh, you know marches and protests, which are actually a celebration for India, and at the same time saying that PFI may create uh, a, a law and order issue, which is a banned organization, and, orga and, and therefore you should not go into sensitive areas. In fact, more so that in sensitive areas, the authority of the state has to be established 
absolute authority of the state has to be established and these marches must go through so that the PFI and the similar organizations and similar people and politicians understand that the state is supreme and, and, and a particular organization which is known for a nationalist cause cannot be prevented from, you know, uh, going into areas. Yes, our Swam Sevaks have been killed, whether it is Kerala, Northeast, Assam, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, brutally because they were upholding the national cause by SDPI and PFI goons and terrorists. So, yes, uh, the observation by the Supreme Court is quite damaging and damning so the state government is concerned, whereas the earlier marches have taken place, whether it was Dalit Panthers or the ruling DMK parties marches, they all had gone through the same areas, but a nationalist organization cannot. So that's that's the dual right. face of the DA and PMK. That's and the, in fact, that's very interesting fights. that you say that. Let me take that across to Dr. Pula Rao, that there are many who are saying that the own, entire onus of safety and security is going on to the Hindus, that Hindus have been demonized. Many have said that from the BJP, from the RSS, is stop targeting us, calling us the aggressors. In this case, Supreme Court itself has said that the RSS specifically in the cases listed by the Stalin government were the victims and not the aggressors. Who's trying to paint a certain picture about the Hindu right? I think one should come clear. The Supreme Court has not given a clean check to the RSS. In this instance, they simply said they can do the march. Nothing more, nothing less. Actually, it has, Dr. Pulara. I'm sorry to interrupt you. It categorically has said in the Supreme Court order that the cases which have been listed, which have been part of the memorandum by the state, have shown that in this case, the respondents, which is the RSS, were the victims, not the perpetrators. And these were cases which were filed during violence unleashed by the PFI. Let me come to the point. First of all, <coughs> Stalin <coughs> is not an ordinary politician. He has shown statesman-like qualities. The other day, though he was fighting with the Prime Minister, he received him, held him sincerely, graciously, unlike other chief ministers. Stalin has only peace of Tamil Nadu in his mind. He was worried that the RSS may be attacked again. That's what he said. And there's nothing wrong in a chief minister showing worry mm -hmm. because in any law and order problem that will immediately come up as if the state has failed. Mm. He was right to be cautious. What happens if something breaks out? Who will who will take the blame? He will blame Stalin that he uh, encouraged this. So I think the chief minister has done it correctly. Whether the Supreme Court agrees with him or not, that's another matter. And I'm sure he'll implement the Supreme Court's order. Therefore, I would say Stalin has come out very well. He said, we don't mind the RSS much. He said in the math 8, statement the DMK and the court has said that. But look, Papula Rao, when Stalin says that let's shackle up the victims, let's not give permission to the victims of the previous cases to carry out a march because the state is unable to ensure their safety, their protection. How is that not damning for a state government? One would okay. wonder. Now, you're correct. But where do the march wants to go? They want to go into crowded by lane streets. Then what happens? Any mischievous fellow can start stone throwing. They're not going on the now, of course, in the next few days, Commissioner of Police will sit with the RSS and chalk out a plan and there will be main roads, I hope, taken. Yes, so that's a protocol. To throw a challenge to Stalin. A challenge which is very difficult to answer. Says, hey, listen, we are going to have a violent showdown and you will be responsible. You ever there is violence, you are to blame Stalin. But has there, in fact, it's interesting that you are saying these things because let me go across to Desh Ratan Nigam. Has there been any violence which has come in, committed by the RSS workers during rallies of this nature? Because the cases which have been cited are not where RSS was the aggressor. It was perhaps the victim in most of the cases, as per the Supreme Court at that. Yes, Meghna, in fact, if you look at the uh, marches which we call Pat Sanchalan, have always been showered with flowers by people all over India, not only Tamil Nadu, look at whether it is Kerala or otherwise, and everybody has participated and have shown their, you know, gratitude towards RSS by showering flowers and petals on them. Okay. And uh, yes, they have been victims and, and not a single case of violence against the RSS till now. Yes, some people do create myth like saffron terror and RSS being involved in 
terrorist activities uh, those have been all debunked by the courts as well as the society and political part and today the supreme court has ensured that the state government which was abdicating its responsibility of maintaining law and order does not do so it has reminded the state government please stick to your duties and responsibilities and certainly you cannot be buckled down by a banned organization by pfi or the sensitive areas it is the sensitive areas i reiterate again where the backbone of the pfi has to be broken and the authority Absolutely. of law and order in those areas have to be specially established by the tamil nadu gov Well, you've made very valid points. Thank you so much, uh, Desh Ratan Nigam, as well as Dr. Pulla Rao, for joining us. On one hand, you have the state government, which has said that let's shackle. It's perhaps easier to shackle the victims in this case, as the Supreme Court has called them. But now the Supreme Court stepped in and has given an unfettered uh, route for the RSS to march up. Upon. Well, uh, this is going to be one of the big stories that we are tracking for you here on Blueprint. But for the timing, a short break. Don't go anywhere. We return in two minutes.